Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be in preparation of SAS. I'm going to share with you guys some tips and tricks that I've learned along the years that I've been doing YouTube and also just shopping Bath & Body Works casually as a regular consumer. I'm going to share with you guys some things from last year just to keep on the top of your mind about pricing and things like that for the first couple of weeks and then some of my best tips for how to shop the sales successfully. So let's go ahead and get started. So throughout the video, I'm going to be popping up some pictures and some videos from last year and then also of the, this year's collections. So just so you know, there's gonna be things all over the screen today and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna start with is the date of SAS and I'm gonna pop that in big letters over the screen because it hasn't been released yet when I'm filming this video and now I'm pre-filming so that's probably why, but I'm gonna pop it over on the screen of the speculated date for SAS to start. And usually SAS lasts um, around a month before uh, 2019 or before 2020 COVID year um, it used to last only a month and then after that it's been lasting like a month and a half like up until the beginning of August when they start putting out the new uh, fall and Halloween collections so it just kind of depends but I think it's safe to say that it'll last at least a month so first I'm gonna go through there's a couple of new collections so I just want to bring those to your attention so the first collection is the salt shack collection and this is cotton candy clouds coming back again Fruity Sherbert Scoop, which is Rainbow Sherbert, Zesty Orange, and Sunkissed Strawberry. And a Whipped Coconut Milkshake, which I'm really excited about. That's Vanilla Ice Cream, Toasted Coconut, and Sugared Amber. So that's one line. We've also got some Retired Scents coming back, of course. Cucumber Melon, Juniper Breeze, Plumeria, which we haven't seen in a while, and White Tea and Ginger, which we also haven't seen in a while, so those are fun. And then this last one is like this groovy 70s collection, which I think is so fun. Um, and that is Disco Daydream, which is Cali Day's Wild Vanilla and Radiant Coconut, which I'm thinking is just a repackage of Vanilla Coconut from years past. Um, Golden Sunflower, which is a repackage again, um, or brought back. This one has been out a few years ago. Groovy Watermelon, which is Juicy Pink Watermelon, Sugared Strawberry Blossoms, and Lime Zest. And Rainbow Waves, which is also coming back. That's a little bit about the collections for SAS. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get into what you can expect for pricing. Now I'm basing all of this off of my knowledge from last year's videos of myself going in stores and shopping. So I'm just gonna only speak to what I know, but feel free to chime in below if you've seen otherwise. Um, I know that Life Inside the Page posted on her blog spot that some of the body care is gonna go down to 395. I don't think it's gonna start at 395, especially with the price increases because last year and even in the winter SAS, it started at 495. So this is my predictions. So 495 body care, that big giant table that's always at the very front of the store when you walk in is gonna be Waikiki Beach Coconut, Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower, uh, Pink Pineapple Sunrise, the Mojito. So all of those like summer flagship tropicals, those are all gonna be 495 as well as that little mini faceted line that we got with Fiji Sunshine and a few others. So that's all gonna be, I think, on the 495 table. And just a reminder, all that stuff goes down to 395 on week two. So definitely hold out on those ones because you're not gonna miss much unless there's like an online exclusive that you want. I would say wait till week two for those, as well as that retired body care collection. So all of that new body care that I just talked about, that will start out at 50% off. And honestly, I've never seen it last past 50% off. People usually buy up those collections, those brand new made for semi-annual sale collections before they even get reduced past 50% off. Um, and they stay like that for the first three weeks. So I would just go ahead and buy those as soon as you see them if you want them or you're interested. So just a tip on those. Um, there's always 350 wallflower bulbs and you can sometimes find 50% off wallflower plugins. So that's a good find. Um, most of the candles will be $11.95, even the brand new ones that are meant for SAS, like the blends collection that'll come out. Um, those are gonna be $11.95 as well as Easter, spring, and summer candles. And then you'll see some old stuff from fall and winter of last year, and even from summer of last year, and that stuff will usually be around $3. And if it's minis, then maybe $2 or $2.50 uh, for minis and hand creams. Some more 50% off body care that you'll see, um, summer hand soaps, firecracker pop, um, any room sprays that you can find. Men's body care is usually starting off at 50% off and the spring collections. 
as well as some pocket backs from summer. So all of those will be 50% uh, off starting out, but keep in mind that the men's collection actually goes down to 395 in week two, so I would wait on men's, and the spring collection actually also goes down to 75% off in week two, so just wait on spring stuff. And then something for my outlet peeps, if you live near an outlet, I live personally like 30 minutes away from one, so I'm definitely gonna hit that one up. Um, last year I found $8 candles left over from Christmas and fall and summer's past. Um, and actually in week two, they went down to $5.95. So that's a really great deal. Um, if you're in the market to stock up on some Christmas and fall candles, definitely keep an eye out at your outlet. Um, they also had some 75% off candle accessories from Christmas, as well as like old summer stuff and Easter stuff. So I think in the normal stores, they'll still have 75% off candle holders. So just keep an eye out for those. And I would snatch those up as soon as you see them because they will not last past the first day that they're out on the floors. Um, as well as some summer candle holders will be 50% off. So the newest ones, those will be only 50% off. And those will also not last long. Okay, so week two, some newer items start to show up such as a $5.95 collection for things like Coco Paradise, I think, and Among the Clouds. So last year we saw those collections go $5.95 on week two. So just wait out till week two if you're looking for those. And then I also found some $5.95 single wicks on week two. Now week three is where it gets tricky. They actually up the prices again. Um, so they keep them at week one and then they lower them at week two and then they go back up at week three. Really weird, I don't know why. I guess they're just seeing how much money they can make. Um, but the candles go up from $11.95 to only 50% off, which is about $12.50 each. So definitely get the candles at $11.95. Um, the $3.95 body care that went, that started at $4.95 went down to $3.95 is actually gonna go up because it's going to be 75% off. Now it sounds like a good deal, but it's actually more expensive. So definitely get that when it's 395. Um, but some good news is that Firecracker Pop and those summer collections, so maybe Love All Always Wins, goes down to 75% off, as well as the summer hand soaps will be like $3, and some of those single wicks will be 75% off. Okay, so that's a little bit about pricing and things from years past. So I'm gonna go through some tips on when to buy. So. Just reiterating, reiterating some of the things that I just said. So buy the SAS specific body care on day one. So all that new stuff that only came out just for SAS, buy that. Um, as well as the candles that are out on day one. Get those because they're never gonna be a better deal than $11.95. But I would say wait, wait till week two or three for signature collections and Firecracker Pop or any of those like recent summer releases. Um, and signature collection, I mean like the Coco Paradise or Among the Clouds or Poppy or things like that. Um, I've even found like Into the Night and um, Midnight Amber Glow, things like that will go on sale in week two or three. And then I would say buy any of the candle holders, any of the accessories, any of the soap holders as soon as you see them because they're not going to go on a better deal and they're not going to last. And then I would say always buy the minis. Um, they're always going to be a really good deal. So my tips for shopping during SAS definitely go as early as you can. I know it's been different days in years past. I think last year it was a Saturday during the summer. Um, sometimes it's Mondays. So it just depends on what day of the week it is. Um, but I would try and get there as early as possible if you can before lunch. Um, but I would be the first person there when they open just because you're gonna get the best deals. So definitely go early. And then if you're kind of avoiding a crowd, then I would say actually go like at the tail end of the day before they're closing, like 30 minutes before they close because usually nobody's in there. So if they close at like 8 p.m., go at 7.30, nobody's in there. They're restocking for the next day, so they're still gonna have stuff out, um, but you'll be in there with like less of a crowd. So if you're you know, not comfortable being around a ton of people, I definitely recommend that. And then another thing I recommend is going through your collection, which is something that I will be doing, seeing you know what needs a pair, or maybe you know you have a lot of lotions, but you don't have a lot of body creams, or you have a lot of shower gels, but not a lot of lotions. Whatever it is, see what you need, see what you need pairs with, um, see what you don't need. For instance, I'm, I don't need to buy three wick candles. I have a lot, but I know that I will be looking for like three wick fall candles if they're on a good deal. So that's just something to look out for. Definitely check your collections, make your list now of what you need to pair with it. Um, and then also start making your list now of what they have out in store. So I would stop by the store sometime soon or just you know browse on the app or browse online and start putting things in your my favorites list, I think is what it's called, 
Um, just start favoriting things and adding them to your list of what you want um, and definitely bring that with you. Just put on your notes app on your phone, honestly, it's so easy. Um, but if you know that you know you want three champagne toast candles, you want three blend candles and you want this and this, then it's gonna be a lot easier for you to shop. It gets a little overwhelming during SAS in the store. So definitely have a list at least to like go by. Obviously you're gonna stray from the list a little bit, but it helps so much. And the last thing that I have is use the app. Now that it's nationwide, you definitely wanna use the app. You get rewards for buying product and you can usually shop SAS a day early. So definitely check that out. You could shop it in the app. Um, typically though, I have to say the pricing in the app is not as good as in stores, but if you're looking for like online only collections like that sweet petal pound cake and the lemon what was it ice lemon cake ice lemon pound cake something like that those ones are going to be online only but they will be on sale so just something to look out for um definitely download the app so you have it and you can always show the bar scanner to your associate when you're checking out so that's really it for my tips and tricks nothing too complicated i just wanted to go through that real quick with you guys and just kind of get this out there so you can start preparing for SAS, but I hope you guys are ready. I am so excited. I am on a no buy right now, so I can have my collection prepared for SAS. But yeah, that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.